Hi, I'm Josh. Welcome back to Fugate Farms. If this is your first time here, please drop down there and hit that subscribe button. Like the video, leave us a comment. It helps out the channel a bunch and we sure do appreciate it. Although it's a beautiful, sunny, mid 60s day here in late December in Oklahoma, I looked at the weather and by the end of this week, it's gonna be in the high teens and low 20s at night. Today, I wanna talk about five things that will guarantee your chickens can survive the cold weather all the way through the winter. All right, the first thing on this list in no particular order is shelter. Shelter. You got to make sure that your birds have a good, appropriate, sturdy shelter for them to live in through the winter. My coop, as many of you have seen, has a hardware cloth front on it and then three sides that are solid. There's a ramp going up to it. It is elevated up off the ground and it actually has hardware cloth on the floor. What we do to make sure that this shelter is good for the winter is we first start out by putting hay at the bottom to start stopping up the holes in the hardware cloth. The hardware cloth is great during the summer. It's not so great during the winter. So we cover that with hay. I don't bring any of it out until the spring. I just let the bedding build up. After a couple of rounds of hay or straw, either one, I start dumping in the pine shavings and, and uh, even cedar shavings, whatever tractor supply or Atwoods or anybody has on the shelf at the time. I start putting that in and about once a week, I'll add to it just to help keep down the manure load and it'll kind of pack that bedding in and even kind of compost a little bit, but it helps keep the drafts from coming up through there. Also, because I have a completely screened in front, I keep my coop facing to the east so that the main winds, which in our area is south and north, and most of our storms come out of the northeast and the southwest, so we keep our coop on the south side of our house on the west end, so it blocks that northeast wind, the coop blocks the southwest wind, and so we don't have problems with there being a whole lot of drafting. Also an important part of making sure that your coop is winter ready is making sure that it has plenty of ventilation. I don't have that problem because the front of it is the screen, like I've said, but if you have a completely closed in coop that you close the door on every night, you need to make sure that you've got plenty of ventilation. You can do more harm than good to your birds by having a real tightly closed and sealed in coop. Another thing that's part of your shelter that you don't need. A heat lamp. Why do you not need a heat lamp? Because it's a fire danger. It is a horrible fire hazard. You hear stories all the time of, of chicken coops and barns and different things like that burning to the ground because of heat lamps. There are some animals that need heat lamps. Chickens are not one of them. If, if they're fully grown chickens, they have down feathers, they have outer feathers, they can keep themselves warm as long as they're not sitting in a drafty, windy area. So you don't need a heat lamp. Something else that you do not need to do with your chickens during the winter is bring them inside. Now I'm talking full grown, laying age hens. If you have chicks and pullets, that's a different story. But don't bring your birds inside. I personally believe that by putting a heat lamp in your coop and also by bringing your chickens inside, you make them less hardy or a weaker bird. I've had my birds outside with no heat lamps. I don't bring them inside. I don't do anything special for them other than make sure that that bottom floor is sealed off and we don't have any problems with losing birds to the cold. So again, the first thing on the list, shelter. Make sure your chickens have a good shelter. All right, the second thing you can do to guarantee that your chickens live through the winter is food before bed. Feed them right before they go up in the coop for the, for the night. And the reason for this is a natural process that happens in any animal, human, anything. If you eat, your body produces heat to burn those calories or to consume that food. So by going out in the evening and giving your flock a scoop of food right before they go up in the coop at night, you can help them produce some of their own warmth through the early hours of the evening. Now, what I do during the winter time is I try to kind of adjust my feeding schedule. In the morning, I'll give them some of their regular laying uh, pellets. And then in the evening, I give them either table scraps or some scratch. And the reason I do that is because sometimes my hens, and I'm sure everybody else's as well, are a little bit hesitant to eat the laying pellets right off in the beginning because they get a little spoiled to the scratch. But I want them to have something in the evening right before they go to the coop that they want to eat so that I can guarantee that they're all gonna eat it and then they all go into the coop with a full belly. So number two, make sure you feed them before they go to bed at night. All right, Caden, tell them what's number three on the list of five things they can do to guarantee that their chickens survive the winter. Fresh, clean water. Yes, fresh, clean water. 
We try to make sure that the water for our chickens is fresh and clean at all times. And if you've ever had chickens, you know that's nearly impossible. But when I go out there, I have waters where I can shake them and, the, and, and it'll kind of shake some of the, the dirt and stuff out. If they're real bad, I'll take a brush and scrub them out. There's five gallons of water in there. I don't personally believe that you need to give your chickens a fresh five gallons of water every single day. However, I do believe that if your water is moldy and nasty looking that you need to change that out and clean it. Also something you're gonna run into in the winter time is your water freezing. So what I've decided I'm gonna do this year because I have had tons of problem with frozen water through the years is I'm gonna actually get some shallow uh, rubber feed pans like horse pan or horse or uh, cow feed pans and I'm going to use those for water because the rubber number one kind of insulates it a little bit better and number two with those soft sides it's easier to just kick them and break up the ice or just flip them over dump them out and fill them back up with fresh water so number three make sure that your chickens have clean fresh water every day because chickens can get dehydrated in the winter time just as easily as they can in the summertime and a lot of times we don't think about it in the winter time because it's cooler but just like people dehydration can happen in the winter time just as well as in the summertime right absolutely all right number four on the list of five things you can do to guarantee your chickens survive the winter is predator protection predator protection now if you live in an area of the world where you don't have predator problems then uh, congratulations. We don't live that way here in Oklahoma. We have hawks that like to spend their time in a tree just about a hundred yards on the south side of our chicken coop. We have bald eagles that spend their time about a quarter of a mile north of where our chicken coop is. We have coyotes. We have possums. We have raccoons. We have owls. We have what else? Mountain Snakes lions. that get in there. What? Sometimes mountain lions. Mountain lions that have been reported in this area here recently. We got them all. And so we have to make sure that the coop is predator proof. Now, as you've seen, and as I've already told you, the front of my coop is solid wire and I don't close the door at night. How do I do that, Caden? Electric fence. Electric fence. It's the greatest thing ever. I personally uh, do not have Premier One. I have a Ken Cove. Uh, very similar, um, but it's a Ken Cove poultry netting. It's about four feet tall and I have a plug-in, not a solar uh, charger or energizer, but we keep that plugged in at all times during the winter. Since I invested in the electrified poultry netting, I have not lost a single bird to ground predators. I have lost one chicken to a hawk that flew in, and that was before I had a livestock guardian dog on the property. Since having the two combined, not lost any birds. Now. The livestock guard dog that I have at the moment is still a puppy of being trained, but he is a vital part of making sure that my chickens survive the winter. So, number four on the list of five things you can do to guarantee that your chickens survive the winter, predator protection, right? All right, last but certainly not least on the list of five things you can do to guarantee that your chickens survive the winter is... Roost space. Roost space. These birds at night need a place that they can get onto a roost. If your birds stand on a flat floor that is in contact with the ground, they're feeling the cold off the ground. They get up in the air and they sit on the roost and they curl their feet over it and they actually let their body and their feathers down over their feet and that's how they protect their feet. There's really only three things on a chicken that are really susceptible to the cold and that would be their feet, their waddles, and their comb. And if those three things, I've even seen on some really cold mornings, I'll come out there to the coop and they'll be down on the roost over their feet and have their head tucked underneath their wing and they're perfectly fine. These, these animals have learned to adapt to this cold partly because I don't put them under a heat lamp and I don't bring them inside my house. And so they've become more hardy. They've learned how to deal with these cold temperatures. So make sure that you have somewhere between eight to 12 inches of roof space per bird. If you give a full foot for every single bird that you have, you will find out that your birds probably take up about half that space because they get very close together when it gets cold. During the summer times, they'll fluff out a little bit more and take a little bit more space. But during the winter time, they're gonna be in there just almost on top of each other. So number five on the list of things you can do to guarantee your chickens survive the winter, roost space. 
All right, so that is our top five list of things you can do to guarantee that your chickens make it through the winter. Make sure they've got a good coop. Make sure they have plenty of food. Make sure they've got good, fresh, clean water. Make sure you've got good predator protection in place and make sure they've got plenty of roof space at night. If you'll do these five things, I can guarantee you your chickens will have a better shot at making it through the winter. I really do appreciate you watching this video. If you have any other things you could add to the list of things to guarantee that your chickens make it through the winter, put them down in the comments. I'd like to hear what your thoughts are. I'd like to hear what you do to make sure that your chickens make it through the winter. <sighs> Hey, while you're at it, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, give me a like, hit the, hit the like button, even if it's just because you like Caden over here mocking everything that I'm trying to do. Leave a comment, hit the notification bell so you know every single time that we uh, upload another video. And as always, I'm Josh, this is Caden. We hope to see you back here at Fugate Farms on the next video.